Oh, hello. Here I will tell you how to prepare and be ready for Dragon Ball Z Final Stand Remaster. By using this awful voice, because the video is mostly texts and I don't want to tire you guys. Before I start, I will have to remind all of you of something important. The Dragon Ball Z Final Stand Remaster is an updated and recreated version of the original game. As the owner said in this tweet, pause to read. It means it's not an update to the current game, it's in a different link. And we will have some of our data transferred to it, as the developers said. I will say what will be transferred shortly. Now let's start. Number one, get to level 1000 at most. Because the owner stated that the level cap will be most likely below 1000 which means only an amount of under 1,000 of your total level will transport. Which means if your level is like 1,200, in the remaster it will adjust to below 1,000 or to whatever the new max is. Here's the tweet. And this is actually a very good thing for two reasons. Reason 1, it will eliminate most of those who exploited their level. Reason 2, it will give us a lot of upcoming future content for the game. It's obvious the developers are planning to expand the level max slowly by adding new content updates. Because if everyone in the game is a high level, then there won't be a point of adding new content for you to progress in the game. Currently, the highest level world is 600, if I remember right. With the cap reduced, we will get one for level 700 and 800 and so on. It will create fun and more hype for the updates instead of just everyone being level 2000 from the start. And also, gaining higher levels in the remaster will be easier with the new updates. Anyways, beside the levels. Don't prestige or rebirth because they won't be in the remaster, same with the stats you gain from the prestige or rebirth. Prestige does more harm than good and rebirth has broken and ruined the game balance, they will be gone for good. And prestige might come back as a completely new thing as a future update in the remaster. Hopefully it will be 10 times better than what we have now. Next on the list. Number two, Grind Zini. It has been stated that your Zini will transfer to the remaster. Not sure if the cap will be 2 million Zini like now, but grinding 2 million Zini now won't be hard to do. 2 million Zini is like winning 20. Normal tournament of power and wishing for the 100k wish. To be honest, Zini as of now, if you are already a high level with everything is pointless. But in the remaster, it might be different. So make sure to grind Zini. Hopefully in the remaster there's more stuff to buy beside forms and moves. I know we can buy clothing, but they are too cheap to mention. Next on the list. Number three, Senzu Beans. You will also keep your Senzu Beans in the remaster. I hate to say this, but gather as much Senzu Beans as you can. I dislike the idea of having like 2 million Senzu beans in everyone's pockets. I wouldn't mind it if there are more restrictions using them, but whatever. If the developers want everyone to be rich with Senzus, then it's their choice, and I can't help it. Says the one who grinded 70k beans in 2019. It just doesn't look or feel realistic for the beans amount to be infinite. And beans did ruin the game because they always get abused in a way, especially when the players got an infinite amount. They remove the risk factor of dying and fighting and so on. No risk factor means no fun. So I really hope they become more expensive or something. Next on the list. 
Number four, game passes. I must mention that the game passes you bought will transfer to the remaster. Nothing to prepare about, but if I was new to the game, I would avoid to buy anything till the remaster drops. Because who knows if they will drop for a cheaper price in the remaster. They won't most likely. Nothing else to say about the game passes. Next on the list. Number five, play the game before it's too late. What I mean by play is that you should enter the current game now every while or so. Take a look or two, feel it, fight in it a bit. And I am saying this for two reasons. Reason one, so you can take a final look and remember how the game used to be. When the remaster is out, this game will be gone and closed. It was stated that the game will close when the remaster get released. For the second reason. You need to play it every while to remember how to play it for when the remaster is out. Next on the list. There's no next. I have listed all the important things if I haven't forgot anything. If I did forget, tell me in the comments. These four things I listed have been confirmed many times. One thing I don't know is if the shop moves and outfits will transfer. No one cares about the outfits anyways because they are very cheap. If they won't, you can buy them again. It won't be that hard and they aren't expensive anyways. All the moves will be remastered and recreated. And the Game Pass's moves will transfer, of course. They aren't the best currently, so hopefully they become good in the remaster. Anyways, when it comes to this awful voice I am using, I will only use it for text-based videos. What I mean is that gameplay videos or showcase and tutorial videos will be text only because it's required for you to watch them. And I might cancel the whole voice idea in the future because it costs money. Now let's have a random PvP match so I can remember how to fight a little. I'm ultra rusty currently. <laughs> 